from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. President Biden signing his trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure bill into law. This is a very big deal and the White House calling it a once in a generation investment. Here's the breakdown of the plan. One hundred and ten billion dollars goes towards highways and bridges. Sixty five billion for high speed Internet and thirty nine billion dollars for public transportation. Meanwhile, this bill signing comes at a critical time for President Biden. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows the president's approval rating at a new low at just 41 percent. Lawmakers are back in Tallahassee working on a special session. If passed, the bills would limit vaccine and mask mandates in Florida. HB1B is the most controversial. And if approved, public schools cannot require any student to wear a mask or get a vaccine. Plus, local governments cannot enact vaccine requirements for employees. Private businesses could, but they would have to follow a list of exemptions. Republican leadership told us their efforts this week will protect individual choice. Investigators are working to figure out what caused a small plane to crash into the water near Davis Islands. Action Air One was over the scene Monday afternoon. Tampa police say the plane went down in the water near Peter O'Knight Airport shortly after 10 o'clock this morning. Thankfully, the pilot and the passenger got out safely. They were on their way to Tampa from Gainesville. And beginning on Tuesday, Tampa International Airport passengers will be able to bypass ticketing if you're traveling without checked bags. The airport is unveiling the first of its kind program in the country. It's called Blue Express Curbsides. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? Beautiful weather. The afternoon high 70s, 80s or near 80 on Tuesday, but the morning will be still chilly and skies have been clear, literally cloud free across the entire area on Monday. Same thing again on Tuesday. By Wednesday, we start to see the winds out of a more easterly direction, and that'll start to allow those temperatures to climb into the low to middle 80s. So one more snuggle alert. That's in effect tonight into tomorrow morning before that warm up begins. And notice on Thursday, we got some clouds coming in out ahead of a front, maybe a few showers on Thursday and again on Friday. So here you go. Wake up temperatures on Tuesday. Most of Pinellas County in the 40s and 50s. Same thing for Hillsborough County. Low to mid 40s, though, across Citrus, Hernando, Pasco and Sumter County. Maybe even a couple of upper 30s in Brooksville and more of the same lower 50s from Polk County back toward Manatee and Sarasota. From there, we stay warm even behind the next front. But there is the hint around Thanksgiving of a pretty decent storm across the mid Atlantic and that could swing a front through with another round of cooler weather for our area just in time for Thanksgiving. So again, over the next three days, skies remain clear. Temperatures begin to warm up in the afternoon, but Florida's most accurate seven day brings rain chances around Thursday into Friday. Even behind the front, we stay warm Saturday and Sunday.